we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we get to dive in and check out Absolute Tactics, Daughters of Mercy. Oh man, the music could have kicked in like two seconds earlier and that would have been perfect. Anyway, uh, it's by Curious Fate and Akupara Games, releasing on September 15th, 2022. And uh, we're here to dive in, play, and enjoy. You guys know I love tactical turn-based strategy games. This is definitely going to be in the, that line, in that vein. And I am pretty excited for it. And hopefully you are as well. I, I have played. I had some technical issues that seem to be fixed. So we'll see. So I played up to about 20 minutes of the game or so. Um, so yeah, basically we get to try that again, run it back and enjoy so let's begin okay so there's an easy a normal a hard difficulty and then full goth mode uh so easier foes and tougher allies sure sure it's not bad not bad and then over here we have ourselves average foes average allies recommended for most players which is what we're gonna roll with and then finally hard mode tougher and extra foes for experienced players i kind of want to go that route but we'll, we'll stick with normal for now we gotta find our footing before we can really be Silence. like. Silence. Oh. You never really took it for granted. Some did, but you didn't. But it doesn't really matter anymore. They're coming, and they're bringing with them the exact opposite of silence. They're bringing the deafening sound of war. Well, that's not good. I have not seen anywhere that I can turn on the subtitles either. So apologies if I miss the option. Uh, but yes, it seems to not have subtitles. So, we'll see. Alright, Huxley. Let today be remembered as the day Huxley Reinhardt discovered the lost treasure of endless eternity and brought prosperity to his hometown of Corliss forevermore. Um, uh, who am I kidding? All I found were a few muddy rocks and some hunger pains. Wait, is that a Luna Berry bush? Ah, oh, I'm starving. In that case, let today be remembered as the day that <clears throat> Huxley Reinhardt <clears throat> discovered that life-sustaining Lunaberry bush and avoided starving to death. Select Huxley to open the action menu. Then select Move to move closer to the Lunaberry bush. Then choose Attack to attack the Lunaberry bush when you are next to it. And select Wait if there's nothing else you can do in your current turn. All right, simple enough. All right, so greatest thing, I am playing with a controller. Use a PlayStation 5 controller. Um, so you get to move around, right? You know, you can do that. You can you can jump square to square if you're using the D-pad, or you can use the analog stick to kind of move around. Oh, they seem to have tuned this down. Um, when I first did this, this was so fast when you went to, like, freeform mode that <laughs> it was, I don't know, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, me personally, I tend to, yeah. I tend to stick to using D-pad in general for situations like this regardless, so it's all good. All right, I would love to attack, and I'm going to, even though there's nothing there. So we got to practice our sword swings, you know, get get some strength or some strength build up and whatnot. I mean, we heard Huxley's real voice there briefly, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, I'm here. I shall slay you, Bush. Hi -ah. Ooh, we even got 10 HP for killing the thing. Sweet. We recovered some uh, Luna Berries. They give us 20 HP, and there's two of them, it seems. Good old treasure discovered. Whew, that's better. I know it's a small victory, but those little Luna Berries will help spur me on to the next great adventure. <clears throat> now to figure out what that great adventure will be. Oh, my. Wait a second, it looks like that monster is even hungrier than me. Some enemies are weak against attack damage and some are weak against skill damage. This soft shell spore is weak against attack damage. Look in the lower right corner of the HUD to discover the enemy's strengths and weaknesses, attack damage, defense, skill damage, and skill defense. Okay, so he's weak against getting slapped with a, with a sharp stick, got it. Attack this enemy via the attack menu. All right, Huxley, that's the move command. Attack. Ha! That's right. It looks like all my training with Miss Callie is pain. I'll stop. Uh, that sport didn't stand a chance. 
This armored is a weak against skill damage. Huxley has a skill called Storm of Swords equipped. Skills consume SP, which is a resource displayed on your food, your heads up display. Uh, use the skill menu to cast Storm of Swords on the armored spore. I shall do this in the name of what the tutorial wants me to do. Surprise! Whew, I think that's all of them. I just gotta remember, use attack to hurt enemies with low attack defense, and skills with low skill defense. No sweat. Sorry, what? You're gonna have to speak up. I didn't hear that. Huh? Did I hear something over there? Hey, where'd that 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 come from? Oh, sorry. Hey, where'd that come from? Looks like my next great adventure is investigating a big weird statue. Ex does that say accept your harvest? Huh. And, and does that also say ascend, maybe? And mother. Okay, weird. Oh, the fade to white. Why? Oh, that's creepy. Start a song. Oh, and then whatever that weird thing was. Cool. Hmm. Huxley, wake up. Uh, sure. Huh? Who said that? I kind of want to go with a whiny, like, voice, but it just doesn't feel right. I mean, this is our main man, Huxley, right? We got to give him up. We got to put at least a little respect on his name. Oh, man, my head hurts. Where did that big, weird statue go? It's gone. Wait, I guess that means my second adventure is complete. Oh, great adventures take a toll. My ears are ringing. Wait, that ringing sounds like an alarm bell. And it's not in my head. It's coming from Corliss. No more time for adventures. I need to get back to Corliss as fast as I can. Yeah, you do. Get there, buddy. Victory, Luna Berries, and some capital, some cash monies, as it were. Fat stacks of gold for buying of goods. Corliss, I hope everyone's all right. All right, sweet. So we survived our first successful uh, encounter with spores, apparently. It's my, oh, that dude's having a bad day. They have little, they have little lightsabers. Let's see here. Give up the fallen daughter immediately, you dirty peasant, and we might let you live. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just me and my husband in here. Take anything you want. Just don't hurt us. We know the fallen daughter is here. Maybe we should bring you to Father Eldritch. He's got ways to make dirty peasants like you talk. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, right. It's not funny anymore. Pitiful. Huxley, uh, you're not yet strong enough to fight these soldiers. Hide! How do you know? I mean, you are a voice in my head. I suppose shouldn't be asking questions like that. Was that a... Are those maple leaves falling? All right, uh, wait a minute. This farm belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Juniper. What the heck is going on here? All right, uh... There's no sign of her anywhere, sir. If we don't find Father Eldritch a source of good adenine soon, it'll be our heads. They probably moved the fall fallen daughter to Corliss. It's much easier to hide her there. Good thinking, soldier. Let's leave these dirty peasants to ghouls and spores. Move out. I have to see if I can save Mr. and Mrs. Juniper from these ghouls and spores. Are those ghouls and spores? Huxley, I know this is going to be a bit shocking. Okay. But if you don't find this fallen daughter, the entire world is doomed. Well, that seems bad. What? Who said that? It's not important now. I'm here to help you, and the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Uh, it always is. 
My head really hurts. Focus, Huxley. That ghoul hasn't seen you yet. Try attacking it from behind. Okay. Like a coward. Uh, it doesn't feel like a hero's journey per se, but I'm here for it. There you go. Yeah. Attack an enemy from behind to infect. Infect. Oh boy. Maybe one of those days. Inflict a critical hit or inflict a critical hit for massive damage. Wait, what was that? What was that sound over there? I don't know. We should go check. But I think first we should probably smack this and get the lunaberry bush. That's that's my that's my guess. Could be totes wrong. Uh huh. Yep. yep no, I I know I know where you want me to go. I kind of even know what you want me to do. But first, burbush. You know, hindsight being what it is, maybe I should have done that second because I would have gotten a slight heal from it. On top of getting the burr bush. Alright, well, that's fine. I tried to next level it and um, it did not. It did not go my way. Ha! Hello, are you in here? Okay, Huxley, the vile creature behind this door will surely be your greatest test yet. On guard! That's right, it's a doggo. Oh, hi there. It's dangerous out here, boy. You should probably stay hidden. Oh, dang. Or take these monsters down with reckless abandon. You and I are going to get along great. You are now in control of two units. You can select them in any order or follow the predetermined selection order. Yeah, so it's us, then, them uh, movement style, which I do not have any problem with at all. I, I don't know if I can say with 100% certainty it's my preferred method, but I do like it. Um, okay. I do like the everybody on your team gets to move. You can really come up with some cool tactical things Killing versus low. something akin to like we get a turn, you get a turn, we get a turn, you get a turn, we get a turn, you get a turn. Get a turn. I, I that's I think my least favorite. I don't mind initiative based uh, movement either or uh, turn order, where uh, if you have fast enough characters or what have you, you know you can move two three characters in a row and then maybe you have a slower tank who's like near the end. Like, I'm fine with those two different options. I think that's generally... Those are probably the two you see the most, but the, like, you get a turn, they get a turn, you get a turn, they get a turn. And I'm talking about individual units instead of, like, your entire team gets a turn, and then the enemy team gets a turn. I'm not a massive fan of that. But I'm a massive fan of the... I'm not a massive fan of the everybody... Individual characters kind of alternate turns me that's kind of eh all right uh i guess i'll send the doggo after the chest and then this is one of those spores that uh probably does armored damage uh right, we're gonna wait and we're gonna keep our hopefully our back safe Does he go for us or for the doge? He goes for us. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Alright, let's see if the doge can get the chest. Only got one HP, looks like indeed. Hey, we got some fat stacks of gold, and we got heavy meds. 50 HP recovery. I'm here for it. I'm also gonna get behind you, and I'm gonna hit you with a skill. Us or them. Destroyed. Cool. I I am a fan. So uh, again, just to reiterate, I might have been a little bit confusing. What I what I like is our entire squad gets a turn, enemy squad gets a turn. I also like initiative based uh, turn order or speed or whatever you want to call it, where some of your characters will be fast and they'll get to go first, and then others will be a little bit slower. Maybe they go third and fourth. Uh, that way you can like boost people's speed to get them like higher in the turn order and all sorts of stuff like that. I, I really like that style. That is probably my favorite with this being a, a close second. I do like the style a lot too. All of our characters go, all of your characters go. What I don't like is they force it to, doesn't matter who you choose on your team or I, I don't, I, whatever the case is, but 
one of your characters goes, one of the enemies goes, and it's always that turn order. There's a few games that have done that over the years, and while those games are still incredible games, and I still like them a lot, it's my least favorite turn, turn order thing. Again, I want to be able to control some outcome or be able to use my entire squad. So this is akin to stuff like Fire Emblem, like the way this game's doing it. Fire Emblem, Shining Force, stuff like that. And then there's other games that, like I said, use uh, speed or initiative-based stuff. And again, those are fine too. I like that as well. I, in fact, I I think you get the most ability to use, like like to control the way combat flows at times uh, with the other method of like a initiative-based or speed-based thing. But eh, that's either here or there. Anyway, onward. Well, boy, at least Huxley Reinhardt was able to help you today. He became old and pseudo-British. Nope, dog's tired. He's sleeping. My dog's actually right next to me now sleeping. I hear her making her little dreamy sounds. She sounds like a, a dripping faucet. It's weird. Hey, voice lady. So, uh, who were those soldiers? Why would they kill innocent farmers? And who's this fallen daughter you mentioned? Not to mention, what the heck is Adenine? Yes, I know it's a lot of new concepts, especially during a single mission, but surely a great adventurer like you can handle it. Now you're talking my language. That wasn't an answer voice. Uh, really, you should be like, hey, flattery will get you everywhere. I also noticed there's another burr bush behind me that I should have noticed and gotten. The answers will come, I promise. But right now, soldiers are heading to Corliss. You must warn them. Okay, so I'm going to try to make a mental note. You guys can call me out when I do it wrong, because everybody does. Um, I'm going to try to ascertain all the various different things that we can get on the map and do my best to acquire them. I'm not going to get all of them 100% of the time. Like I said, I did forget that, or I didn't notice that there was a berry bush here. I could have fallen back, gotten two more berry bushes for extra healing. And I think we're going to want to do that, like pull as much as we can out of the map. Because I'm assuming that we keep all of our inventory from map to map, level to level. So we'll see. All right, we must warn them. Hey, come back. D dang it. Oh, yeah, Corliss is in danger. I need to warn my friends. Stay here, boy. I'll come check on you after I save Corliss. But uh, real quick, you don't know what the heck Adenine is, do you? Yep. Doggo's just like nap time. See, we could have gotten another Luna Berry, and I didn't. Shame on me. Yeah, it was worth a shot. All right, Huxley, let's get to Hustelin. Huxtelin. Let's get to Huxtelin. He'll never stop hunting her. We're in this together now, Huxley. If you say so. Uh, looks like my recording, everything is going fine this time, so this is good. The changes I've made, things I've done, seem to have fixed my issues. Oh no! Corliss is under attack! Stay out of the way, kid. You're gonna get hurt. No way I'm gonna hide while my friends are in danger. I must protect my home. Ow. Get to safety, kid. Got enough to worry about without protecting you. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. It's pretty loud still. I mean it, kid. Find somewhere safe to hide. Oh. I can't get careless. Guard Captain Arkin, someone help him. That's Kali. Miss Kali, I can save him. Huxley, no. You heard Guard Captain Arkin. Uh, get to safety. Kali. At last, I found her. Wait, you know Kali? How does this voice in my head know Miss Callie? Oh dear. Some seriously dark Juju Magumbo is about to go down. And we're here to stop it. Uh, I will try tweaking sounds and stuff, volume levels, in the next episode, folks. I fear if I turn it down too much, the voice acting will come through, but the sound effects are really loud. Alright. On to the next! Ooh, we leveled up. I feel like we could have done that at a better time. Uh, you do fully heal when you level up, by the way. Which is, uh, you know, it's nice. I, gotta, I don't, I don't dislike that. I think that's pretty good. Uh oh, town guard didn't do so well. They're just chilling. They're just like, eh, whatevs. This is fine. 
Don't worry. I, Huxley of Huxleyness. Wait, uh, Reinhardt. That's right. We have a. Uh, Great job. Right? I shall slay all that stand in opposition and shall save everyone. Probably. Oh, the duel had one. Oh, you know what I might have been able to do there? Let me take a look at this. I, I had to choose a specific spot. Okay, I guess it wouldn't have made any difference then. I thought maybe my Reign of Swords would go out three tiles and I could have hit like two people with it, but I don't think that's how that was going to go. I don't know that I'm going to get any treasure loot from coming this way. They're just like, eh, it's fine. We just sit here. It's cool. All right, revive friendly heroes by applying a divine intervention item from the item menu. Oh, I intend to, sir. I intend to do exactly that. Oh, our not really healed, but they're, they're, he's back. You shouldn't be here, kid. But I will try to protect you. Stay behind me while I help Kelly. Guard Captain Arkin is safe. Now free Callie. Yeah, yeah, it's on my to-do list. A lever, eh? Uh, looks pretty compli- Really? Sorry. Looks pretty complicated. I wonder what happened if I bash it with my sword. Activate levers, treasure chests, and other inter interactive objects by attacking them. <laughs> oh, no. We're about to be La Flanque, did. Alright, well, we're gonna wait facing this way, because we're less likely to get our faces murdered. Probably. Probably that. <laughs> yeah, fool you. All right, buddy, get out there and take the hit for us. You know it's what you want to do. Ow, my face. Oh, they seem to be dying over there. Eh, that's what they're paid to do. That is true. Oh, I didn't... Oh, okay. Well, I suppose I can move over here and help out. Now, what I am curious about... Beautiful performance. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm curious about. Uh, is breaking, like, the blockades, does, does that net us anything? And there's a hole in the wall. I'll, I'll show you guys here on, in a second on the map. Like, there's a hole in the wall over here. Is, it, is there something we should be doing over here? I don't know. I, I'm also concerned that maybe if we go over there, some seriously dark Juju Magumbo might happen. Like, another guy comes out and tries to murder us, you know? I'm, I'm not positive. Alright, we're gonna bonk you. Get bonked. Oh yeah, the Mage of Mercy. That's just what the Danish want me to think. Alright, so we're looking pretty okay at this point. I mean, maybe we've looked better at times. But in general, this looks not too bad. Alright, I think I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna attack this. What do we get? Money and regular meds. So like I don't I don't know where, what I want to do here. If I move here, do you think they'll notice me or? Uh, like he's not looking, and there is a berry bush right next to me. It's, oh my god, that hurts so much. Like we can kill this guy, right? Ten points of damage. If I go behind him, I'm absolutely going to die, aren't I? How close are we to leveling up? We're pretty close, actually. Alright, I'm taking the risk. It's a, it's potentially a terrible idea. <laughs> okay, we leveled up. Okay. Greatness is right around the corner. Oh, uh, okay, they didn't aggro. Okay, that's, that's great. It's fantastic. Alright, kid. You do whatever you're going to do. 
I'm gonna come over here and uh, I guess slap this thing. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I am gonna go over here and not reach saving her just yet, but it's on my to-do list. Okay. Are they gonna move out, or do we have to like get within range to aggro them? Like, I'm totally okay with you know slow playing this a little bit. But I'm gonna get stabbed in the back. I'm gonna get backstabbed. Oh, we got another divine intervention to so make up for the one that we lost. I can slap this now. Kelly, okay. well, get them to the battle. Thank you, Huxley, but you should have listened to Guard Captain Arkin. Wait, I have to help protect the people of Corliss. It's not a game, Huxley. This is how people die. Oh, spoopy ghoul boys. Ah, okay. We've made it this far. Yeah, we did. All right, we gonna wait. And I uh, hope he doesn't get trapped. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna scratch Huxley. Come on, man. What did the what did the huckster ever do to you? Oh, we didn't aggro them. Interesting. This, this dude just walks around with a battering ram. I love it so much. All right, ma'am, time to slap a fool. Oh, right. She uh she slaps a fool a little further away than other people do things. Is that too far? It is. It is. All right, but I think she hits three people at once. Oh, that leveled her up. Did, did she just say ding? Did, did she just ding? That's great. I love that. I love that so much. Beautiful performance. Thank you. I was hoping you'd notice. All right, and then we have the the four piece that we'll have to deal with soon. I will get behind you, and I will battering ramasize you all the way across the universe. On to the next. Okay. Now we have to aggro these dudes, huh? I think that's fine. Probably. Y'all gonna? Nope. Oh god. I think they just have very limited vision, which is good. It's good that they do, because it would be very upsetting if they're just like. Oh my god, there's enemies somewhere on the map and they just come charging at you and you're like, wait a minute, I'm not ready for this. What are you doing? So, uh, I think I'm going to chill right, oop, nope, right here. I'm going to try to wait to get the, I see the berry bush in front of me, by the way. I do see that. I'm going to try to aggro with the big guy and then follow up with everybody else. And I think I can do that. I have no earthly idea if it's going to work, but I think if we hit start, we can end the turn. Still nothing? All right. They really don't want me to waddle down on them, huh? All right. Well, we shall move folks over. There we go. Attack us, maybe? There it is. Yeah, that was not a very impressive move. Alright, all four of them are super mad at us now. Which, you know, potentially could be awful, or it could be fine. Um... Okay, didn't hate that. Going to hit you from the side. My dog is angry. For reasons that I don't know. Snuff it is. Alright. You get him. Yeah, you get him, Kale. Alright, I think I can stand here and it's fine. Alright, I don't know what the scythe person's gonna do. I imagine the mage is gonna hit us with spells, which is gonna be awful. Okay, that didn't feel great. 
yeah, that wasn't great. Admittedly, ungood. All right, let's take a look at our enemies here. Okay, magic boosted, melee boosted, and magic boosted. All right. I want to slap you. I think I can get them both here with a with a hit, probably. Nice. Yes. All right, and then we're gonna move you here to. I, I guess we can just lightly hit you. And then we're gonna move back, and we're gonna get the burr bush. It's gonna be the plan. Because, uh, yeah, he doesn't bring a whole lot to the, uh, the old table. I think whatever they hit us with with the scythe was a movement down situation. So I think we can just hit him with the thing from here. Barry Bush, come to us! Um, you know what? I think we let the big guy get the, uh, the maybe he'll fully heal off of it. Uh, yeah. All right. We had no other choice. He didn't level up. Okay, hopefully nothing else is gonna happen. We're in uncharted territory, by the way. All right. Oh, well, this seems ungood. Oh no, it's him. Who is him? Whoa, nice dragon. Uh, but who the heck are you? Huxley, be careful. This man is extremely dangerous. I mean, he's riding a dragon. Could be obvious. Oh. Uh, hey. I am Father Eldritch. These are my daughters of mercy. And you should be begging for your life. Oh yeah? Well, I'm Huxley Reinhardt, and I'm just an overconfident best plain hero. And soon a dead one. <sighs> Oh, dang, we just got bit by a dragon. Oh, our dog is here, though. Hey, 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 don't mess with the dog. Don't you do it. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? The mangy dog thinks he can stand up to me. As for you, hero, I know you think you're going to slink out of here alive, but this isn't that type of story. For today is the day that Huxley, whoever you said your name was, was killed by Father Eldritch and his daughters of mercy. Oh, well, what's up? Help! Oh, wait! Yeah, we're not real good at our job, are we? Huxley, I told you to get to safety. I'm... I'm bored. Let's go. I suppose we got what we came for. Besides, I have much more important things to do than deal with this lot. Lenexa, it's time for you to learn some responsibility. This region is now yours. Aw, oh, come on. Why me? Lenexa, remember your place. Do not talk back to Father. Fine. Okay, listen up, nerds. I'm in charge here now, so what I say goes. Got it? People of Corliss, do not oppose my daughter of mercy, or I will return and show far less kindness. Yeah. I mean, you bit me with a dragon. Later, nerds. Uh, what? Miss Kali, they, they took... They took police. Guard Captain Arkin, we have to rescue her. Oh, Callie. Good boy, I think I'll call you Max. Eh? Shout out to Shiny Force, eh? 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 No? Alright. We got some meds, we got a, ooh, class handbook upgrade. I don't even know what that means, but I'm excited. Use it in the barracks upgrade class handbooks. Sure. Um, and some more fat stack of, uh, Hot wings or something. We got we got some capital there. Woof, you tell him, Max. Oh. Okay. Sweet. Can I hit start on this? Oh, I totally can. And I can save the game. Great. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the perfect spot to break off the very first episode. Uh, we're going to be coming back to this fairly often, so if you guys like what you saw and you want to see some more, stick around the channel. I will be covering this game. It's a lot of fun. You guys know I love tactical turn-based strategy games, SRPGs, if you will. They are the heart and the soul here at The Freak Show. So I like to get my hands on all of them, try them out, check them out, showcase them, and hopefully play through a whole bunch of them. That's the plan, right? All right, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links, just like there always are, pointing to the various different places to go find out that information. Also, you know, the YouTube algorithm demands it, so I give it to you guys once per series. Hopefully, I, I can keep doing that moving forward, and that is the like, subscribe, share, pitch, you know, it helps. I'm close to 20k at this point. It's been a long time coming. Maybe we can, you know, push that to meeting the goal before the nine years on YouTube mark, uh, which is rapidly approaching. So please subscribe if you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Until the very next episode, thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.